SureDog.com here with the Ultimate Fighter winner, Mac Danzig, getting to make your UFC official debut. Uh, Mark Bosek in Montreal, Canada. How excited are you to get back down to your natural weight, 155, get in the UFC and show them what you can do? Oh man, this is my life. I'm I'm just so I'm ex I'm ecstatic, man. It's 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 the best thing that that anyone can hope for is be in the UFC and be able to uh, you know start off a pay per view card. You know, so far the biggest pay per view of the year. I'm really happy about it. You know, tough opponent, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm I'm more excited for any other fight that I've ever had. So it's time to go. You've been toiling around the sport of mixed martial arts for a long, long time, getting into the big the big time, this is something that has got to be, you know, a culmination of a dream that's been there for a long time. How excited are you, and do you worry that maybe those nerves get to you uh, when fight time comes? Um, you know, there's a lot of pressure to win, obviously, but I, but I don't I don't think I'm going to succumb to any kind of uh, pressure or nerves. I think the, the most nerves that anyone can have is fighting in the ultimate fighter and, and uh, especially the finale of that thing. So, so getting that done and over with, is uh is is a big load off my shoulders and now i can go back to being a normal fighter and uh you know fighting where i feel like i deserve to be and uh you know it's it's a tough fight in that uh you know bocek is is kind of unknown i mean he's not completely unknown people who are hardcore fans know who he is but uh you know a lot of people don't know who he is so they're expecting me to just win this fight and it's it's uh, it might not be that easy you know the, the guy is very good so uh it's uh, it, that's the only thing that's a little bit difficult about it, but I'm looking forward to it, and uh, you know, yeah, it's it's a dream come true. You're fighting in a very stacked division. You drop from 170, 155. There's there's no drop off there. Might even be deeper. You've come into this with a uh, you know a very experienced record. You you should be expected to probably step in against some of the top competition right away. Is that something the way you see it, or you know, do you feel you need to build yourself up in the UFC? No, I wouldn't have it any other way. I want to fight the name guys, you know. I want to I want to fight those those good guys out there that already have established names and I I you know, I'm just happy to be part of the division. Um I would rather fight the best guys in the world, win or lose and look back on my career and know that I that I did my best against the best guys in the world than than fight a bunch of mid-range dudes, you know what I mean? So so I'm I'm ready to go against whoever they put me against. You know, I would I would love to to fight any of those top guys, man. A any of them, you know. Very deep division, lots of guys there. You're not gonna have any shortage of opponents, but uh, you didn't have any shortage of opponents on the Ultimate Fighter. Seemed like that wasn't something that was one of the highlights of your career. Um, you got through it though, won it. Uh, what was it like going through that experience? And you look like you're happy it's over. Oh man, I've, I've been happy it's over for for a few, quite a few months now, and uh, you know it's it's back to to me being normal guy again. I mean, I don't want to complain about it too much. I don't want to go on and be like, oh, it was so hard. I mean, it was hard, but I don't like harping on that too much, um, you know, because it was such a great opportunity at the same time. You know, it's it's like a paradox. It's 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 like it's the greatest thing in the world for for somebody to be able to get through that and win, and at the same time, it it's uh it it's pretty rough. So uh, I try not to to complain about it too much, but man, I mean. Unless you're in that situation, you don't know. I mean, that's one of the stressful, most stressful things that I've ever had in my life. Not only the six weeks of being on the show, but afterwards and the show's airing and just dealing with everything involved with that it is very, very stressful. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad it's over with. I'm totally glad I did it. Feel you're mentally tougher because of it? Yeah. What doesn't kill me only makes me stronger, right? Yeah, yeah. Talk about this move out here to Extreme Couture Las Vegas, something new for you. What's it like being in this room with all this talent? Man, um, it had been a long time coming. You know, for the past few years, I've been coming out here. Uh, even when all the, all the boys were over there at uh, at Zions before Couture opened up his gym, um, I've been been coming out here for about two years now, uh, about two or three weeks before every fight, leading up to the fight, and um, been doing that. And and it just got to the point where I couldn't afford to do that anymore I, I had to had to move out here you know I didn't want to leave LA I didn't want to leave California I love California but I, I had to make the move for my career and um, you know uh, man it's it's just it's the best gym out there I mean I really don't see how there could be any gym that that can that can touch this gym I mean that's why I'm out here 
when I'm out here, I'm no longer the top dog. You know, I'm no longer the best guy. Everybody that's in the room is as good or better than me. You know, I just I just was with uh, sparring with with uh, Gray Maynard, Sam Stout, Tyson Griffin. You know, I got like Trig in here. We've got just so many guys. Vanderlei's in here every day. It's just a million guys. Martin Campman, Mike Pyle, Jay here on incredible fighters and they're they're here every day and it's it's uh there's no better gym than this this is a dream come true for anyone that's serious about fighting obviously helping you get ready for mark boshek what have they been doing what have you been working on specifically to get ready for this opponent well i know what boshek's gonna do you know he, he throws a few hard punches he looks to, to land some stuff he you know he might he might uh try and mix it up a little bit but, uh, you know, ultimately he's looking to get me down and, and, and looking to pass my guard and get a submission. That's what he wants to do. And my ground is pretty good as well. Um, I don't feel like I'm quite at the level that he is jujitsu wise but I know where my ground stands in an MMA fight, and I know I can hang with him just fine. Um, so I'm, my whole thing is to avoid a boring fight. Um, you know, I'm not the type of guy that if he takes me down, I'm going to go nuts scrambling to get out and there could be all these exciting submission attempts. I want to make it so he doesn't get a chance to get to a submission. So he's not going to be passing my guard. If he does, I'm going to be getting my guard back. It's, so it might be a slow fight. So my, my whole uh, deal is to try to avoid that type of situation, stop his shots, frustrate him, and knock him out. I mean, you know. He's he's working his stand up. I'm sure he is. I know. I'm sure he's he's working everything. He's got really good wrestling for a jujitsu guy. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm there to finish the fight, and uh, you know, I see I see it ending with the TKO. You know.